What's up, 360 fans? Today we're gonna install this thing. This what, what is this? Uh, kit rack. Genuine Articat parts and accessories to gas rack. We're gonna install it. Um, should be pretty straightforward. We're gonna put it together, rivet it onto the tunnel. I'm gonna add a couple extra things because uh, pretty particular about my stuff, and I don't want my tunnel to get scratched up. So I'll probably put uh, some um, like vinyl that's clear. Put that on there and uh, we'll slap the rack on, should be good to go. Let's do it. Rip open the package, here's where you're gonna find instructions, hardware, rivets. Um, good idea to have an air rivet gun. If you don't have an air compressor, you can use a hand riveter. It's gonna take a little bit more uh, work, a little bit more effort, but you'll get the job done. Two aluminum orange brackets. Two rods to connect the brackets together. And that's it, simple. You're only gonna need a couple tools in order to get the job done. You'll need a T30 Torx bit. I'm gonna use an Allen key, but you can use one that works with your ratchet or your screwdriver. You'll need a 360 inch drill bit in order to drill the holes for your rivets, and you'll need some blue Loctite. Let's get started. Your first step is gonna to be to assemble the rack. You take the brackets and the connecting rods, assemble them together, put a dab of blue Loctite on the threads before you put it together. Next thing you know, you've turned a pile of parts into... Awesome! Super lightweight, if you care about that kind of thing. It's all made of aluminum. Next thing we're going to do is line it up where we want. There's really no wrong or right way to do this. Uh, you can kind of just fit it wherever you like. I have the two up seat, so I'm going to fit this as far back as I can go where the objects I put in here won't be running into my tail light. Let's see how that looks. Basically you can fit something like that. There is a disclaimer in the instructions that say not to put it fully to the back or damage to your tunnel may occur. We're gonna have a fairly small gas can in there. So I'm not uh, too particularly worried about something like that happening. So I'll install it fairly rearward in order to clear the seat, um, which is obviously quite large. I'm going to be sure that I clear the tail light so that if I put a gas can in there, it's not going to be hitting the bracket. So probably right about there. And like I said, I'm going to put a piece of clear film over that, but at least it'll protect that so when you you do have a gas can riding around in there, it's not gonna scratch up the top of your tunnel if you're particular about that kind of thing, which I am, so I'm gonna do it. I slapped a little bit of tape on there. Once I had everything lined up where I want it, I basically measured from the rear edge of this rivet forward two inches on both sides of the tunnel, and then just used a strip of tape to mark the leading edge. That way I've got it centered. Next step, and I know you're cringing, once again, Start drilling holes in the tunnel. Use a 360 inch drill bit. Just check underneath to make sure the wiring for the tail light or anything is not in your way. Uh, the cooler is centered in the middle here. It doesn't have the outside edge cooler, so you don't gotta worry about those. And you're just gonna drill holes straight down, five holes on each side. And then you'll use your rivet gun to install the rivets, which are supplied with the instructions and the hardware. Okay, so we'll get everything lined up the way you like it. We're gonna use a 316 inch drill bit because we're using 316 inch rivets. Easy peasy. Once everything's lined up, you'll drill your first hole. First hole is drilled, you get rid of all your aluminum bits. Drop that rivet in place. As I said earlier, you can use a manual rivet gun or you can use a air over hydraulic, which is what this one is. With a steel rivet, you'll find that uh, they never seem to get as tight as they otherwise would if you use a manual one. So I prefer the air. You may or may not. Just like that. We'll put that one in next. And then you'll just carry along drilling your holes and you can install the rest of the rivets. But doing them kitty corners, just gonna ensure that this is positioned just how you want it. And again, we'll line everything up. Rip. 
and then just continue your holes. I'll now do the back corners and then we'll fill in the middle. I should probably mention too, you should be wearing safety glasses while you do this. You don't want to make a piece of aluminum fly in your eye. You'll be really dickered after that. So hopefully Mrs. Patch isn't subscribed. And there you have it. You've added a new rack to the back of your sled. You toss a gas can in there, because the last thing you want to do is be caught in the north with your pants down because you didn't bring enough fuel. It may not get you all the way home, but it'll hopefully get you to that gas station. If you enjoy the content we're putting out, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You can like the video, share it with your friends. You can check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you like the gear I'm wearing, head to 360north.com where you can get your own. And don't forget, some of our proceeds always go to charity. We'll see you next time.